You can change your hair color back, or we can fire you. Snapcat, all on the floor. Snapcat, give me some more. Snapcat, when you get bored. Snapcat, all oh, in the world. Okay, you can't tell me I had, I could, like, I had to do that. I had to, I had to start the video like that. So today I'm going to be telling you guys a story about when I used to work at Cracker Barrel. Now I know what you're thinking right off the bat. Hold on a second. How did you use to work at Cracker Barrel? Your hair. Your hair. Yep. Yep. That's the point. That's the mother point. So this story takes place about four years ago when I was 16 years old. I decided I wanted to get a fucking job. I wanted to go get a job more so making that cash money. You know what I mean? I need bam. What's the first place I need to go? Who was hiring and where can I start serving? You know what I mean? Because serving makes the most money. The only place that would hire me was Crack Barrel. So what did I do? You girl stayed blonde. So if you go back on my Instagram, you'll see that I have blonde hair for the longest time. The longest time. I used to have blonde hair so that I would just sit there and just listen to the rules. You know, I would do exactly what they said. I've been dyeing my hair since I was really, really young. And honestly, I don't know man. I don't know why I eventually started listening. I think it's because most schools that I went to wouldn't let me have colored hair and I would get in trouble with school. Every single time I'd color my hair they'd be like, I told you not to do that. I'd be like, I get straight A's. I'm not harming anybody by having colored hair, okay? I just do what I do and I'm just here and <laughs> just here. So that's exactly what happens at Cracker Barrel. I was sitting there pretty with my blonde hair and my birthday came around and I'm just like, okay, what should I do? <laughs> what color am I gonna do first of all? Because every single year for my birthday, no matter what, I'm dying my hair. I don't give a flying I don't give a You see that? I don't care. I just, it's one of my traditions as a human being on this planet. I have to dye my hair. What, what color did I choose? You might be thinking, green. Wrong. <laughs> Guess again. For all of you back there that said pink, you are right. So I dyed my hair hot pink. Okay, the, pretty much the hottest pink ever that you can imagine. It's pretty, 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 pretty pink. So what happened was I pretty much had to work the next day. So I went into work and just walked in, started doing my job. At this point in time, I'm pretty sure that I was serving. I'm pretty sure that I wasn't hosting at this point. I'm pretty sure I was serving. You had to like host for six months or something to start serving. That's so stupid. Why can't I just start making guys with me? I guess it's to show that I'm like a good, good employee because it was my first job. So as you know, my hair was hot pink. So I'm sitting there, barbecue sauce on my and my hair is hot pink. And I pretty much avoided the managers at all costs because I knew what the result would be, you know? I knew what was gonna happen, but like I didn't want to die when I was an addictive. I want people to understand that like this is a part of who I am. I've been doing this forever. I like to show my creativity a little bit with spice. You know, just a little bit of something. Whenever I appear in the room, I did this filter on TikTok the other day of like who your celebrity lookalikes are. And I got Mila Kunis and uh, I don't remember her name, but those two bitches are amazing. Like I know that Mila Kunis is supposedly like a B word, but I still think she's awesome. I love that 70s show. So, you know, I love her. Anyways, the point of me telling you that was that I did like a brown hair filter afterwards and I looked freaking good that's not the point i don't care that i would look up with natural hair people tell me that all the time they're like you look so good with blonde hair i don't care i don't give a f why would you tell me that does that mean that my hair doesn't look good now because i disagree so my manager at cracker barrel actually has a youtube channel i don't think that he still works at cracker barrel but i guarantee he still has that youtube channel so i'm hoping that he sees this one day that would be hilarious um anyways so i believe he or maybe it was my female manager one of them brought me into like the office and they were like hey what happened and i was like what do you mean what do you mean <laughs> i'm okay i'm fine i'm just chilling here what happened to you 
you know? <laughs> and they were like, your hair, you know, it's highlighter pink. What happened? <laughs> I was just like, nothing. I just thought it was cute and I wanted to do it. And what well, seems to be the problem, officer? You know what I mean? Like, why are you questioning me like that? Okay, get off me. Long story short, the handbook or whatever is very, very strict at Crackboro, as one might expect. And I think I knew that going into that, but I didn't give a f and I missed that energy. I missed that version of me where I didn't give a flying f I miss her, but she's coming back slowly but surely. She's coming, she's coming right back. I can feel it, I can feel the energy. I can feel everything. I literally said it yesterday in my last video that I felt like I had no energy. And then I've just been kind of just like focusing on my energy today. And what about, hello me. Um, I feel like I'm gonna burp. <laughs> I don't wanna burp. Don't do it, don't do it. Go away. I kind of burped, but it was silent. Did you catch that? Okay, cool. So whenever my managers brought me into the office, they were pretty much like, listen, we've got one or two options. You can change your hair color back or we could fire you. One or two options. <laughs> and I was like, okay, okay, I hear you, but let me raise you an option. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Hear me out, hear me out. I could wear a wig. They were like, what? A wig? I was like, yeah, I can wear a wig. I don't care. They're like, it's hot in here. I don't care. So you don't want me to have my hair color. And it's such a big deal to you only here when I work here fucking 20 hours of my whole week. I can wear a wig for 20 hours. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Test me, bit. So I went home early that day because they weren't going to let me work with my hair color. But I went straight to the beauty supply shop. Now my mom went with me when I went to the beauty supply shop. So she was kind of like my moral support, kind of helping me pick out which wig to get because there was a lot to choose from. Going in there was like wig heaven, okay? But your girl already had something set in mind. I knew in that moment in my heart that if I was going to buy a wig, I wanted to have a curly wig. I want my hair to be cute and curly. Like, who wouldn't want that? Girls with curly hair said me. <laughs> so I'm in the wig shop, right? I'm sitting there and I'm in the wig shop, chilling, looking around for anything I could possibly put my hands on. And there's two that I find that I like. One is like straight ombre, blonde, kind of natural. The other one, other one. Oh boy. <laughs> she's, she's curly. And I was like, you know, it's kind of ridiculous that I have to do this in the first place. You know, like wear a wig because they're stuck in the 19th century. For what reason? <laughs> I'm not kidding. For what reason? And, um, no, I, di I wouldn't. I'm not dealing with that. So I bought the second option, the second wig, the one that I saw that I was like, oh my gosh, this is kind of testing the limits as to like, if it's gonna be allowed because it's so unnatural that it's like not, it wouldn't be my hair. You know what I mean? But the crazy thing is when I was wearing this wig, a lot of people, like a lot of people would be like, is that your real hair? And I would totally f with them. I would be like, yeah, do you love it? I thank you. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate that. It, it took me so long to get them looking like this. You just wait. You just, you just wait. Why are my eyes so weird? Like, why are these so weird? I don't. <laughs> I don't know. So where were we? Where, where, where were we? You're probably thinking, hi. I don't know, and I apologize. I really did not mean to, and I won't have it again. So, where are we in this story? I'm going home, got the wig, and I'm gonna try it on. And I try it on, and I show my family, and everybody laughs at me. I sh you not, everybody laughed at me. They looked at me and they were like, you look ridiculous. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I just have to wear this every day while I go to work in front of complete strangers. Like, thanks for making me feel better. You could have lied to my face. I wouldn't have cared, okay? But it's okay because I didn't let that phase me and I just kept going. So it definitely didn't make me feel good that they didn't like how it looked, right? But it made me feel worse, the reaction that people gave me when I went to work. People at my job, for example, they were like, what happened? Did you get a perm? And I was like, guys, that's so generous. Look at my hair. And I'm just trying my fucking pink hair, you know? So I didn't give a f***. So, like I said, I miss her. I miss that. Pretty
pretty sure my manager's reaction when they saw my wig, they were like, wow, this girl isn't playing. <laughs> like, they really didn't think that I was gonna go get a wig. I'm pretty sure they thought that that was the last time they were ever gonna see me, but no. Your girl's gotta make money. Don't care if my hair is pink. I'm pretty sure I was super like crazy about it then. Like as soon as I would clock out of my shift, I would take my wig off. <laughs> you guys are probably thinking like, girl, what are you doing? Why are you doing your makeup? Because I'm gonna show you me with this wig on, duh. I'm gonna finish my makeup and I'll be back. And now for the moment you've all been hopefully waiting for. A little quick self promo before we go in further. If you didn't know, I'm doing a crystal giveaway. So if you are interested in that, I have a video on that. It'll be linked right here. But let's try this shit on. Okay, so give me a good drum roll, please. Thank you. She's a mess. So I'm gonna try to fix her up a little bit. I'm like, this is her. This is the wig that I would wear to work every day that I would work. And I would work from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Sometimes I would tie it up like this and just put a little scrunchie in the bottom of it, you know, and have a little ponytail moment. But there is no getting rid of like the poof. And I'm sure that this black wig cap like showed through. And if you got up close, you could definitely tell that it's not real, like. There ain't no fooling anybody. But how can I make this look good? You know what I mean? I'm like, that's so obvious that it's a wig, right? Maybe not. Let's try it out. This shit is getting all up in this. Every single time I try to pull it, it's just like bringing me hair. And I'm trying not to tangle this any more than it's already going to be tangled. Is that kind of cute? What do you think? No? No, it's not. But it's a moment, and it's a moment that I had, and the moment has passed, but like, who let me leave the house like this? This feels like wrong. This feels wrong. I wish my hair was this curly, but it's not. It's not, unfortunately. I have like a type 2C or a 3A if I'm being generous, okay? So. My bosses didn't really appreciate this way very much either, and they actually fired me like a year later. I went on my senior trip and I gave them like six months in advance because this was like a school trip. So obviously you had a big advance time because I was going around the country, you know what I mean? And I came back and they were like, where were you? I was like, oh. <laughs> bad management, okay, bad management. The moral of the story is if you want to have colored hair, have your colored hair because you can always, and I mean always, hide that sh So, yes, she's kind of scary, but I don't give a f I hope you guys enjoyed today's video because I broke that wig out of retirement for you, okay? I literally out of retirement for you, and I put that on my head. Okay, it may have been for five minutes, but it was still on my Head. So, what do we learn from today? If you love doing something, do that shit. As long as you're not hurting anybody, who cares? Who cares? You know what I'm saying? By the time Cracker Barrel fired me, I already had three jobs. So, looks like I did any of them. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time video. If you did, you know what to do. Thank you for watching. Stay around, you guys. Don't get abducted by aliens because that doesn't sound like fun. And you guys, have an amazing day. Bye-bye.